Hey, it's Nicholas, back again today, back again, oh yeah. We're back with another pup at the moment, okay. This is classic pup Do One Four of GTK3, yeah. And it's now for 10.1, by the way. It used, used to be the GTK3 in old classic pup. Now, if none of you know classic pups, it's from way back in the day when pup was different, to you say. But using the GTK themes and everything, it's brought it up to date and it's rather nice, actually. Don't you think so? I do. So I would really say it's normal pup. It's a short video, by the way. Before. So I click on home, you've got your normal pup stuff here, it's all right. If you click here, it tells you all about it and what he's doing to it. Look, I'm gonna scroll down, bloody, bloody, blah. Tells you the additions and what Firefox, etc., etc., etc. So that's all right, super duper, nice. Any pup would have one of these in there though, by the way, before anybody asks me. If you go into your home folder, you'll see a little text document and normally be what they've done to it, some of the thank yous and what they've used, etc., etc., etc. We also have Thuna on the top, so it's got a bit of XFCE going down too, it seems. Okay. You've got your drive mounters here, here. You've got the console, or the terminal. Okay. Genie is your text editor. You give Abbey Word and G Numeric for your office stuff. Remember, you can get other stuff too, and I will show you that in a moment. But I've not done too much on this one. I'm just giving you a little look. It is an alpha, and it's pretty new. For video, we get a GX Zine. Hey, welcome back. For audio, right, hang on. You know what? I forgot the bleeding name. I think it's Beep. I think this is called Beep, so that'd be cool. For internet, you get a version of Firefox, which is Aurora. And using IX Quick. IX Quick for the most private search engine in the world, so nobody knows you're searching, which is good for me. You also put some links in here for Facebook and YouTube, not that I use Facebook anyway, but hey, I'm in Google.com. Okie dokie. For your drawing, you get this the basic one, Inkscape Lite, which will do all your needs, but you can get a full Inkscape too. SSF Boot, I won't even go into that, because it's only a short video. When it comes out the next one, I'll mark into that, okay? You can do all your themes here, so we're using the GTK3 themes here. If I click there, you can change all your stuff here, the colours, icons, and other stuff. So that's super duper. Or change it back to other stuff. Okay. Right, for your package manager, if we go to the pet to get section and get software, install an official pet. So if I click on pet, and we quickly go there. As you can see, it's a bit different from the other one because it's a puppy two series. But I'm getting the plugins for Abby Word, all stuff like that. Some of the stuff I've tried to do in here doesn't actually work, but I would imagine because that because it's an alpha anyway, so I'm not too worried about that to be honest with you. But there is a lot of extra stuff here you can install that will work. Okay, so that's nice. We'll cancel that. I'll go to the menu. It's quite a nice clean menu, isn't it? I rather like it. Anyway, one thing I have noticed on here, you've got quite a few games in here. So I've got the gem game. Remember this one? There you go. Put a gem in down there. So that's super. The duper works all fine. There's another one down there's quite a few nice ones to keep you entertained actually you've got bubble pop or a form of bubble pop okay so that's that one there sheep pool or herd the sheep and there's minesweeper tetris here breakout some space games and ex marjong there you go does what it says on the tin super for duper lovely right on our bottom bar here as you can see it's installed by the way i forgot to tell you that we have a clipboard we have the ethernet connection we have a cpu monitor so it's not actually doing much at the moment look that's really simply, simply in it. Or I can click the FH stop, and there you go. It's only using 44 megs of RAM, and the processor's not doing anything at all, really. Is it? So that's rather nice, I'm thinking. Super duper. Also, on our bar here, we have how much hard disk space I've allowed it. I've set up my firewall, and here's our volume two. I couldn't actually move my icons, it won't let me. So even if I did try to drag them, they go straight back. So I'm doing something wrong there, obviously. But on the whole, it's really nice to use, and I'm glad somebody's getting a bit of GTK3 down in the pub. So, I'm not going to give it a score, because it's too early of an alpha to give it a score. But next time, I will do. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.